Oh, Stacy, Madonna, we were born Nirvana, there was you two, and Blondie, and music still on MTV, her two kids in high school, they tell her that she's uncool, but she's still preoccupied with 19, 19, 1985, woohoo hoo guys, Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto, I overdose, so you guys don't have to, definitely go follow me over. At Bitcoin over those right down below hit that subscribe button that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto uh, Pumps dumps whatever is going on in the crypto space guys go follow me like I said I Bitcoin over those on Twitter the link is down below for that Sometimes you gotta work a little so you can ball a lot buy that dip one Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin And we're flipping those shit coins over the bitcoins with that buy Bitcoin and shill guys I don't even know what is happening in the market today? I haven't checked much at all. I've been, um, well, I've been checking altcoins a lot. I haven't really been checking Bitcoin too much. So we're going to get a little bit of an analysis for that. And then we're going to see what is popping today because I'm not exactly sure. I know I said I've been trading altcoins, but I was just trading coins that I've already had for a long time. So just watching stuff pop, watching nothing go up, you know, just the huge. Anyways, guys. Bitcoin seems to be around that 6,500. And if you guys remember yesterday, we were up in that 6,700 area. So we are down quite a bit this morning and today and into the afternoon. The day closes in about four minutes. So if you guys are tuning in, I am live right now. I'll put that chat over here somewhere else. And, um, you know, it's kind of cool to see Bitcoin hold some of these moving averages. But guys, we did dip below that uh support line that i thought we had two days ago so i thought we were gonna bounce off of it thought we we're gonna continue higher it looks like i was wrong um i would not be surprised to see this become resistance and you know maybe get another uh little bit closer to that 5800 again guys i don't know everything looks like it could dump really hard right now um but the altcoins look pretty good so i guess if you like compare bitcoin right now Bitcoin could dump a lot. Maybe altcoins will hold, but, you know, dumping a lot at this range, guys, would still only probably put us above 5,800. I mean, I'm not really seeing the, uh, I don't, I don't know how I say it. We haven't had the volume that we had a couple of days ago. That is 100% confirmed. Uh, but we have not really seen a significant push in either direction yet. Like, I, I know I was really bullish. I still am really bullish. But I don't know why right now. Like, I shouldn't be. And I've been telling myself that all day. Like, hey, maybe you shouldn't be as bullish as you are right now. Just because, I mean, there's still a lot that can go wrong here. I'm not, I hate saying that we're going to see new highs this year. But guys, this triangle here that we've been working towards for the last nine months or eight months will be probably the most significant day in Bitcoin history, uh, at least for the relative future, relative uh, past as well. It'll be all short-term stuff, but, you know, is this resistance line getting harder to cross every day that we wait? And I would say yes, guys. There's shorts piling up. There's, like, more and more people thinking that they can't get out when they want to. So they're, like, you know, stacking the sell orders up. And it's just getting a little bit crazy with that whole aspect. So I'm hoping for a big volume day. It'll probably happen today or tomorrow. But considering this uh, day closes in two minutes, we're probably going to witness, um, you know, something tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be, be decision day, at least for, you know, the next week. And I thought we were going to kind of get a good pump today. So I'm kind of surprised we didn't. But guys, we've just been in this indecisive tightening range for a very long time now. And this just reconfirms exactly what I've been saying. We can't make a decision on a bull or a bear market until we cross probably the beginning of October, but we're we're, we're going to see something really soon here, guys. It's going to be soon. And if you guys see here this weekly 13 week um this 13 week average is actually acting as resistance right now, and that's actually what we're bouncing off of. So that's kind of important to notice. Uh but, you know, besides that, we haven't really seen too much action either which way i'm just saying for the logo short term i'm looking for a possible buy at like 6500 but uh i'm not even buying in this range guys you know that i haven't been buying or selling bitcoin for a while 
Although we can take a look at the alts, guys. I've been using CoinGecko today. I actually just found this website. It's got a little bit more coins than coin market cap and a little bit cooler of a um, whole way to set this up. But you can just hit market cap. And, um, you know, this is exactly like coin market cap in terms of ranking coins. So this is how I like it, I guess. Uh, I used to use coin world coin index. I do not use that anymore. But anyway, coin gecko seems to be getting the job done from what I can tell. So I'm I'm interested. And it's got like a thousand more coins. Again, guys, all of these are normally shit coins, so <clears throat> it doesn't matter too much. But guys, out of the top ten, I mean we saw Ethereum dump, we saw Bitcoin uh stay the same because one Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin, guys. No, um, percentage wise, here we go. 2% down for Bitcoin, 7% down for Ethereum, 13% down for XRP, guys. XRP might test uh, that consolidation range again. Um, we saw it a couple of days ago that uh, 50 cent mark, pretty much, or 47 cents in USD and Bitcoin. I forget the exact price. I think it's 7,200 ish. So we're probably going to see a little bit of a we're probably going to see that touch support and then i would say either move forward depending on how the market looks like if bitcoin goes up xrp is probably going to go xlm was following um xrp pretty closely the last couple of days which is pretty solid uh got cardano guys cardano is one of our biggest winners today or it's down eight percent but yesterday it had a quite a bit of a pump um when i was watching so it looked pretty good uh, the last couple of weeks, it's been up quite a bit. So that's always awesome to see. But guys, Cardano is one of those coins that you should just hold on for for at least the foreseeable future. Um, you know, uh, this is a 24-hour volume. You obviously don't want that. I wonder what took the biggest hit today, guys. Ooh, rainbow currency, but it's down 100%. Cabbage unit. Also, you know, like these ones I've never heard of. Inpay, I have heard of. That one's down 80%. So, you know, probably a scam coin, but... You know, whatever. So, guys, I yesterday I was talking about how we could have gotten onto uh, ABCC exchange, and guys, there's not enough liquidity for me. I was like, uh, I I don't know. I'll show you guys what I mean. I think I'm signed in. Hopefully, I am still. If I'm not, yeah, I am. Um, I don't have enough liquidity to work on some of these coins. Like, yeah, I could probably buy HO. I can probably buy the more popular coins. But too much Bitcoin, guys. Too much Bitcoin. I was looking through it, and I'm like, there's not enough liquidity on this exchange. Although, doesn't mean it can't get there eventually. It's just really hard to dump and pump coins. Because you can't buy any without buying, like, half the fucking order book. And, uh, you know, it's just something to note, for me at least. I I know I was kind of salty, but, um, you know, maybe it'll come. I still believe in this exchange long term. This is probably going to be another Binance, but... I had to use a VPN too. VPNs really come in handy sometimes. So it's always something to keep note of. I'm not completely wrong about the exchange. I just don't have enough money. Like, look at this. Overall today, there was... I mean, can you see like the whole... There's rewards every second. That's actually pretty cool though too. You get referrals for like everything. So it's pretty dope. But... Um, <laughs> The daily volume, I don't remember. I know I was, like, looking at it, and I was like, wow, like, yeah, there's, there's not enough daily volume for this exchange yet. Although, I'll still be showing it. My ref link's right down below, so just something to note. Um, Vertcoin, guys. Vertcoin is by far the best bullish-looking altcoin I've seen in a long time, guys. This is Litecoin 2.0. Um, decentralized Litecoin. Charlie Lee, not owned, obviously. Uh, it's up 100 sats since my call on Twitter, but I have not made a purchase of this yet. But it was 10x down from the top. So, you know, when these coins tend to pop, guys, they tend to do it pretty quick. So, you know, something to note. But it's also 30x down from the top back in June of 2015. This is a long project, guys. Look, it's even down even lower from 14. So... This project has been around for so long. It's been rejuvenated a couple different times. I just know that like Vertcoin, like it's Litecoin 2.0 decentralized. And it's always something worth looking at. So 
I don't know if I'm making a position soon, but if I do see a good trend reversal in this, like, I mean, a breakout probably above this moving average right here. So like 1080, 10, 11, maybe 11 might be a good entry point for this coin or maybe the, the retest test. And then, you know, find support and then we'll probably see a breakout to the upside. But guys, vert coin, definitely one of the, I don't know how this coin has dumped so much. Honestly, this is like basically same tech as Litecoin. It's got atomic swaps. I think just integrated not too long ago. It's primed up for a good bull run. So, you know, if you believe in Litecoin, but this is actually more believable than Litecoin right now. So I like this coin a lot. Vert coin. Something to look at, guys. What else is really popping? I do not know. Um, CFI got delisted, guys. Uh, that happened... Or no, it's delisting in a week, but it got halted because people were over-trading it and stuff. It was kind of interesting to see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, when it pumped two times after a delist, I'm sure uh, Bitrix is pretty upset with that. Uh, what else are we really going to see popping today, guys? What else have we seen dump today? It's always exciting stuff. Uh, we can go check Binance real quick, but it's always just something, guys. There's always something going on in this space. But like I said, I think Vertcoin is so undervalued right now. I would just put that at like the top of my list, you know, for like, oh my God, coins that have dumped so much. Otherwise, the market has really not moved too much today. Like, see a coin's retesting, guys. Remember, I said, like, 105 is probably not a... Oh, 90... Well, I said 97 if you could. 97 is right now. But I said, like, 105 would probably be a good entry spot. But I said you could probably get it lower if, you know, we see this consolidation before we move higher. Remember, guys, I said that it was about 96, 97. So we could see... I mean, we could see 96, 97. And that's kind of what we're getting to right now. So not a bad call on steel either, guys. Uh, but yeah, you either buy here or you just don't. Like I would, I would just say no. But um, that is personally me. I haven't sold or bought any. Full disclosure. Um, what else have we seen? Bigger pumps. BCN is up a couple of percentage points today. We're seeing like a ten percent jump. Um, guys, BCN's a stop buy for me above forty five sats. I think that's really where we're going to see any type of a breakout. Uh, we have not broken downtrend yet. Uh, this coin obviously is not worth 10000 but um, you know we're probably going to see 120 be a really big resistance, and we're probably going to see even right here, 38, 39, 40, that be a really big resistance as well. But you know, if we find time, guys, it's always able to happen now i don't really know what else i wanted to say today this market's been kind of dull i'm still super bullish on it um obviously i mean there's a lot of opportunities that will be coming soon and you know there's not any just big pumps today dumps today hot is looking pretty solid um you know i don't know guys here it's you see this like constant fighting. There's like a big buy wall at 15, big sell wall at 17, but it's been hopping between a couple of different percentage points for a while now. Um, can I zoom out? Yeah. You see this like really big fighting at 16. I'm just going to say this is accumulating like probably up 14 to probably 17 is like the accumulation zone for whales before they kind of start pushing this price up past 30, 40 sats. But uh, that's just my two cents of the word. Um, I, I, this is by far one of my biggest altcoin bags. So I'm not going to like, you know, say this is what I'm going all in on. But it is a pretty big bag and I want it to do well. I don't know like if I believe in the project super long term. Just because I don't know if they can materialize half of their uh, products that they're trying to do. But it is a very good idea. So I don't know. It, the whole internet of things is going to have a winner. And I think... It's either going to be IOTA or Holochain or it's going to be... Like, IOTA have had some of the problems with the devs. So, I don't know. It's going to be like Holo or it's going to be like INS systems or ecosystems or whatever. It's going to be something. And something's going to win and I just want to be a part of that. So, you know, having a little bit of everything, guys. How's Poe looking? 1.4 Bitcoin buy wall right now. 145 guys poet is one of those ones that have always wanted to buy underneath 400 sats anything underneath that's pretty cheap um but i do not have a bag 
And it looks pretty solid right now. It looks like it's slowly rounding back up. Um, you know, can we zoom out a little bit? Looks like it has heavy resistance at 158. So, I don't know, maybe not. We need to have volume confirmation. And that will just come with Bitcoin. So, guys, if Bitcoin holds here, if Bitcoin really tries to stay above the 6,500 range, I would say we're in for a good amount of, uh, you know, potential here. But it does look like we're going to get that last. We got to dump right at the, uh, like, what, 7 o'clock? Yep, 7 o'clock, guys. It's the day closed, you're going to get that little bit of a dump. But, you know, we'll see how this goes, guys. Today should be an interesting day for Bitcoin, I think. Because yesterday, it didn't really... It didn't really seem that interesting, I guess. Or yesterday, as in like today, earlier before seven o'clock or whatever. It didn't really look too too busy. So we should be seeing a lot of volume today. And I told you guys that yesterday too. Like, hey, when you when you have low volume, you're gonna get a push to the upside or to the downside. And it looks like we're going to the downside. I would not be too scared until we really break below that sixty five hundred range. Uh sixty, maybe sixty four. But you know, like up up in this area and then um you know what will we look for if we do go to the downside guys like we're seeing another day of down here we're probably gonna get you know if we saw another day it would probably be 63 we test the rebreak and then what what do you do you buy the retest i'm sure a lot of people are going to be thinking that as well so we'll see what happens guys we'll see what happens it's going to be really nice but uh, that's all I got for today. So I I did like I'm streaming right now and I'm gonna stay streaming But uh, just for like the viewers back home I'm gonna do a slight video that I'm kind of really not addressing like what's up right now, Andrew um, But I'll address you guys in one second here I'm just gonna sign out or sign off and then stop recording and then I'll be right over on the stream So I'm gonna be streaming for probably an hour tonight. So definitely stay tuned right now but you guys have a great rest of your night. Peace out. Go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Link is right down below for that. Hit that smash that subscribe button, actually. Hit that like or dislike button, depending on if you like my Stacey Madonna song. Uh, 1985, guys, by... Uh, who's it by? I don't even know anymore right now. I can't even think about that. But hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pumps and dumps. Guys, today, Vertcoin and Bitcoin were really the only ones I'm really looking at. But we will see how the rest of the market plays out. I'm excited to see it just as you guys are. So peace out. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin, guys. Go buy Bitcoin and show. Buy that dip.